Friends of Simon Wiesenthal Center is here today to ask Canadians what they think about the crisis in Egypt. What do you think about the crisis in Egypt? My heart goes out to everybody that's um, having to go through the turmoil right now, but usually uh, catastrophes bring people together and there's positive outcome after it. And do you think there's a sweeping sense of change throughout the Middle East in general? Most certainly. I mean, certainly to me it seemed that this was sort of a wave that was started with uh, Tunisia and then sort of took uh, took approach to Egypt. And I mean, the most important thing is is that, that these people are able to have a, a democratic uh, political picture and, um, and hopefully that they can have their voices heard. Do you think Mubarak should step down now or in September? Absolutely, he should step down now because I firmly believe in the will of the people. They want him out. You should get out. What are your thoughts about the crisis in Egypt? Well, I've been following it for the last, what, 10, 10 days now, 11 days now, and it's actually quite concerning about really what's going on there. And um, not having a lot, of, a lot of knowledge about the area, I was actually quite surprised to see that all of a sudden this has erupted over a very short period of time. And so I'm concerned about the future of the country, I'm concerned about the region, and I'm certainly concerned about uh, the implications that that might have on the state of Israel. Why does it concern you? Well, I think, again, any kind of instability is bad right now, given the situation of the world. And also, I think it's important that as activists, that everybody speak up and be respected for their opinions. And I feel that that's not happening right now from that standpoint. But there's a crisis in Egypt. Uh, are you following what's going on in Egypt? I don't, the, I, I don't, the uprising? I don't know that. Uh, oh, really? I don't know from <laughs> okay. you. Uh, I'm not too much uh, informed uh, from this stuff. Uh, and, and I know that Egypt has beautiful country, you know. Are you, con are you concerned for extremist groups uh, who, who might take over? Of course, of course. It's, uh, it's hard. Do you think the Egyptian people deserve democracy? Of course, yeah, everyone does, no? Yeah. And do you think President Mubarak should step down? Yeah, if the people want it, yeah, why not? Well, what I do you think, think about the uprising? I think it's a good thing. You think it's have, a good uh, thing? I have friends who are from Egypt and they, this guy's been in power for 30 years and He's doing a and are your friends happy about uh, yeah. the uprising? They yeah. want to change. Well, I think it's like they're not happy about it. They think it's a good thing, though. Yeah. And are your friends concerned about any extremist uh, uh, groups taking over Egypt? Well, I mean that's always been a case for the Muslim Brotherhood, but uh, the uh, I think there's just so many more people other than them who are uprising right now. It's not just the extremists. It's true. So, it's true. Yeah. Good. Thank you. So what are your thoughts about what's going on in Egypt? Um, apart from the non-violence, I think it's good. I, I, um, after Tunisia, I think uh, people saw it coming. And I think there's going to be more uh, in surrounding uh, areas that have similar sort of uh, governments. Do you think that the crisis is going to shake some of the relationships that Egypt has, for example, with America, with Israel, with other uh, European powers? Is that going to impact that? I think in short term you might see some something going on between Israel and Egypt. You might see some power blocks coming to affect the Israel-Egypt relationships, but in long term I don't I don't think so. I think uh, the the next uh, uh, ch the next one in the chain is going to be Lebanon.